Is it time to stop idolising celebrities? Now I almost didn't want to make this video because I know it's going to really split the room. There's going to be some people completely against what I have to say and just know that just because I'm saying it, it doesn't make it fact. It is just personal opinion. With like all of my videos, please take it with a pinch of salt. And the reason I did end up making this as well is because whenever I've got something on my mind, I do like to make a video about it. I find it quite therapeutic, if you will. So um, please bear with me. Now this pandemic, there is literally no denying that it is tragic, but I try personally to find positives in every bad situation. That's just me. That's one of my coping mechanisms. And one good thing to come out of the last few months is that for a short while, those on the front line were getting the respect they truly deserved, whether it be medical professionals, uh, shop workers, delivery drivers. Come on, we would have been screwed without them. And like the rest of us, celebrities have been in lockdown too. They've had to clean their own homes. Uh, they've had to homeschool their children. And yes, many celebrities, I'm sure, did that anyway. But a lot of them? Come on, can you really see Madonna, for example, cleaning her own toilet if she didn't have to? All I'm trying to say is that for a short while, we all felt equal. But already, as restrictions are being loosened, I can see things quickly going back to the norm. One example being in the past few days, I have seen three stories pop up online uh, from popular news sources, basically articles that were nothing more than, look, here's a celebrity taking a walk. Do we care? Apparently so. Because I noticed that these news stories were getting far more clicks than actual stories, for example, praising the NHS for everything they have been doing for us. Now we see Brad Pitt, his head is 20 feet tall. There's music playing when he talks. His lines are all carefully constructed by a team of writers. And we get sucked into it like he's a real hero. And we do that for anybody that gets attention, whether it's Kim Kardashian or Taylor Swift. We, we see these people and millions of people are paying attention to them. So we assume that there's some quality behind everything that they're saying. There's something special about them but there's not. And please don't get me wrong with the point of this video as well. I'm not saying that we should hate on celebrities and I'm not saying who people should and shouldn't idolize. I'm just simply saying, wouldn't it be a shame after months of having time to reflect and put things into perspective, wouldn't it be a shame if we didn't learn and evolve as a society? Our society equates fortune and fame with success. And I think it's time for that to change. For me, success is excelling in your field of choice, whatever your job may be. If you enjoy it, if you're really good at it, and you put your all into it, then in my opinion, you're successful. But back to the whole idolizing part. Let me just stress, there is a huge difference between liking, admiring, and looking up to a celebrity compared to actually idolizing them. One of the many issues with taking that idolizing someone to the extreme is it can affect people's mental health. I've seen it. You know, people all the time online, they see posts of celebrities uh, showing pictures of free gifts they've received, their mansions, luxury cars, and who wouldn't want a slice of that pie? Many see that lifestyle and they want it. And there is nothing wrong with that. I want it myself. The problem arises when people think that having these things are the only way to be happy, the only way to get respect. And the great things that these people already have in their lives, it's irrelevant. It means nothing to many of them because it's not what their idols have. And keep chasing that dream. Again, nothing wrong with that. Just make sure that you are appreciating what you already have and know that without it, you are still good enough. Of course, there's celebrities that I love. I think Ricky Gervais, for example, is hilarious. Tom Hanks, a great actor. Uh, Spielberg, a damn fine director. But am I going to put these celebrities on a pedestal that is higher than those who are out there right now during a pandemic risking their lives for us? Definitely not. These past few weeks have put a lot into perspective. For many years now, the media have been shoving down our throats. Look at these celebrities. These are the ones you should be idolizing. And do you know what? For a while, 
Yeah, I fell for it. Not anymore. A few months ago, if you were to ask the teenagers of today who their heroes were, I can almost guarantee that many, not all, but many would have said a celebrity. I just hope with everything that's happened during the last couple of months, with people, as I say, being out there on the front line, risking their own lives to save our lives, I just hope after all that, if these teenagers were asked the same question, their answers just might be a little bit different. This, ah, uh, this sounds so preachy. I promise you it's not. I respect whatever your thoughts are on this. As I said, I just make these videos because I find them quite therapeutic. So I'm just getting my thoughts out there. You can agree, you can disagree. It's entirely up to you, but I would love to hear either way your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for bearing with me during this old man rant. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bloody love you. Bye-bye.